welcome back to Pokemon Emerald number whatever we're on. <laughs> I think it's like 84 or something. That's ridiculous. We are in the Battle Frontier, as I have been slowly, slowly going through them again. Because I want to finish this LP once and for all. And today we are going to the arena. I forgot the, where the arena is. I remember now, though. So, uh, the arena, I have no experience in the arena, if I'm being completely honest. This is the battle arena. Let the toughest teams, uh, what? Let the toughest teams gather. Okay. That doesn't tell me anything about it, though. Uh, can you tell me anything? In the battle arena, the order of Pokemon is totally important. For example, if your first Pokemon has certain type disadvantages, try making your second Pokemon one with moves that are super effective against the first one. I think that will make a good way, uh, that will, that will be a good way of making an effective team. Ah. I lost on the referee, uh, referee's decision. I don't think it was a good idea to use only defensive moves and not attack. I mean, you gotta use some defensive moves. I won in judging. Landing hits consistently on the opponent's Pokemon worked. Our match was declared a draw. When we ran out of time, both my Pokemon and the opponent had about the same amount of HP left. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. Uh, let me... Does this tell me the rules? The set KO's turning rules are listed. Which do you want to read? Battle rules. The set KO tourney has special rules, unlike standard battles. The first one, at uh, first, uh, one battle lasts only three turns. Oh geez, three turns? If the outcome is not decided after three turns, it goes to judging. The referee will choose the winner based on the Pokemon battled. Also, Pokemon cannot be switched out until its battle outcome is decided. Uh, mind. The first judging factor is mind. This factor uh, uh, evaluates how uh, aggressive the battlers were. The judging is based on how often the trainers ordered the use of offensive moves. Skill. The second judging factor is skill. This, uh, uh, this factor evaluates how effectively Pokemon moves were used. If a move worked su uh, successfully, the skill rating goes up. If a move failed, the skill rating is lowered. If it was on an offensive, uh, if it was an offensive, uh, offensive move, the skill rating goes up if the move was super effective and goes down if it was not very effective. The skill rating will not go up for moves such as protect and detect. If the opponent used protect or detect and your Pokemon failed to hit with a move, the skill rating will not go down. Okay, what about body? The third judging factor is body. This factor is based on how much HP is remained at the end of a battle. The rating takes into account how much HP a Pokemon had at the start of the battle and what remained at the end. Oh. Okay. I think I'm starting to get it. So I want something that hits hard and hits fast. Shriek. You have Hyper Beam. Battles only last three turns. I don't think Hyper Beam will be that big of an issue in that case. Unless I'm using it against rock types. Okay. Uh, maybe Hoshi in that case? Yeah, yeah, I think Hoshi would be good next. And then... Archibald? I I don't know. I'll try that that set. Where the battling spirit of trainers is put to the test. I welcome you to the battle arena. I am your guide to the uh, set KO tourney. Now, do you wish to take on uh, the battle area challenge? Yeah. Well, we gotta do open battle. Our Pokemon are above level 50. Very well. Now select your three Pokemon, please. Alright, we're going with Shriek, we're going with Hoshi, and we're going with Archibald. 
before showing you to the battle arena, you must save. Is that okay? Yeah, I think so. I shall now guide you to the battle arena. Your battles will be waged in the next room. Please step in. Okay. Trainer May, step forward, please. Trainer Adriana, step forward, please. Set KO Tourney, begin! Come see an incredible swift swim. Uh, okay. Are you a swimmer? Yeah, okay. Let's see how... <laughs> Shriek versus Mudkip. Commence battling. Uh, hmm. I mean, I guess I'll just use Hyper Beam. <laughs> Knocked out! Beg on! Oh, shoot, wait. Yeah, recharge. Oh, that's actually going to be an issue if I keep doing that. And that's only really good for these, uh... Uh-oh. That'll only really be good for these, uh, early Pokemon because they're not very strong because they're... They seem to be not evolved. They're the base forms, it looks like it starts out as. Shriek versus Mankey, commence battling. Uh-oh. That's bad. Oh, no! Okay. This is fine. Uh, Psychic. Bye-bye! We're gonna get loads of points for this, I think. Because we knocked out Mudkip in one turn. We got a super effective hit on Bagon, and we got a super effective hit on Mankey. So I think we'll be good. I'm feeling beat up and tired. The winner is May. Oh, do we only get the the judging if uh if we don't knock out the Pokemon in one turn? Or within the three turns? Okay, so it's three turns per Pokemon. Okay, I get it now. I think. Go on. Step forward, please. Gordon. Set KO tourney. Begin. Victory will come to me. Okay, so Hyper Beam is still a good idea. It's generally a good idea, I think. At least for this early stage of this. Although, me... Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to keep going with Hyper Beam. Ah! I would like to see how the judging is handled. Oh. For these uh, within three turn things. Clamp! Oh, no, it hurt. Uh, just do strength. Oh, shoot. That's turn three. Boom, boom. That's it. We will go to the judging to determine the winner. Judging category one, mind. The Pokemon showing the most guts. Judging category two, skill. The Pokemon using the moves the best. Oh, no. Hey! Judging category three, body. The Pokemon with the most vitality. Judgment, four to two. The winner is Maze Shriek. Heck yeah. Ah, so it's only, it's only for the, uh, the one Pokemon that it, it's 
being judged on. Okay, and then the winner goes on, the, the loser gets knocked out. Okay, I get it. Okay, this is actually really interesting. I think I like this. Brain dance. Well, that's not an offensive move, bro. Just use strength again? I don't know. I was, for a split second, I was thinking, okay, this is a fairy type. How am I going to deal with this? There's no fairy types here. This is Gen 3, fool. Oh, no. Man, so this is being recorded on uh, September 12th. The Pokemon DLC for uh, uh blah. the DLC for Pokemon Violet just dropped, and I can't wait to play it. I'm I'm purposely waiting until uh, Thursday so I can play it because that's my usual stream day. And yeah, I I I'm really hoping it's good. But I had a lot of fun with Violet. Oh, heck. That's not great. I had a lot of fun with Violet, so I don't think there will be a problem with having fun with the DLC. I'm just I'm I'm just hoping it will be as good as I'm hoping. Judging category one, mind. The Pokemon showing the most guts. Skill and HP. Body. Yay! Bye bye, Snubble. So that's how the judging works. Okay, I get it. The, ref uh, the winner is May. Pokemon will be restored to full health. All right. Uh, well, now that we've seen how battling works and how the judging works, I. Th I think I'll just fast forward through a bunch of these trainers until we get something interesting happening. I wonder what that could be. Anyways, I'll see you in a minute. The winner is May. My dear challenger, your skill level is truly astounding. We now would like you to face our leader, the Arena Tycoon. Oh, that didn't take too long. A battle with the Arena Tycoon. Are you prepared? Let's go on. Trainer May, step forward, please. The Arena Tycoon, make way for Greta. You were fast. Hey, howdy. Wait, are you the challenger? Is that right? Hmm, hmm, hmm. I don't know how to say it, but to put it bluntly, you look pretty weak. Wow! Are you sure you're up for me? Well, I beat 27 other trainers before you. I'm, I think I could beat you. Hmm. Well, all right. We'll take things easy to start with. Okay, let's see you in ignite my passion for battle. Set KO tourney, begin! All right, let's do it. Cross. Okay, okay, okay. This was a good choice. This was a good choice. Two two versus Heracross. We can uh, commence battle. Flamethrower. Reversal. Uh oh. No, oh, please. That did nothing. Meanwhile, super effective hit. And that's gonna do good for points. If I don't knock you out. Oh, but this is going to do major damage, dude. Choo-choo. Oh, no, that didn't do anything. Hardly. This will knock you out. Heck yeah. All right, Heracross is down. But who's next Pokemon is the question. Umbreon. That's a weird choice. Okay. 
I mean, it's not like Umbreon is bad. In fact, it's really good, but I just didn't expect it. Uh, I don't know. Umbreon is really defensive. What do I even hit you with? Flamethrower? Flamethrower. Faint attack. Uh, okay. Okay. That's not a huge damage move. Choo Choo is really defensive, which is good. Oh, no. You... Really? You have leftovers? Oh, that's gross. What about Body Slam? Will Body Slam do more? Psychic? Heck. Okay, this is fine. Uh, is it fine, though? Because you're gonna do big damage and I'm not gonna survive regardless. Whether it's based on, uh... The judgment call? Yeah, it's the judgment call who's gonna be like, yeah, no, you failed. Hmm. Unless. That's it, we will go to judgment. Okay. Equal. Equal. And yeah, kinda figured. Bomber. Two to four. Bomber. He was low on health anyways. Bloop! Uh, I mean, the... It's not like we're weak, but we're not strong either. I'm just gonna do Earthquake. Secure a big amount of damage. Confuse Ray! Okay, that's gonna be annoying, but that is a point deduction. So if we don't knock out Umbreon, then I think that'll be really good for us that he used uh, that the Umbreon used uh, Confuse Ray. Oh, but that's bad. Faint attack. Fine. I'm fine with that. Okay, if I don't knock it out this turn, uh, like, like, please hit. Okay, okay, good, good, excellent, heck yeah. Oh, shoot. I'm still, I, I think I win this judgment call. I think I win this judgment call. Critical hit, oh, dang. Uh, looking a little iffy now. Especially with that leftovers. All right, I win the mind, they win the skill, but I win the body. Okay, good, 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 good. Base bloop. In a referee's decision. Okay, I still have another Pokemon after. No, not Shedinja. What's my last Pokemon again? Shoot. Okay, well, actually, I have Crunch. Okay, um... This is not great for Bloop. In fact, this is awful. This is horrendous because Bloop can't hit this thing. But I have Crunch on Delphine. That is going to be the deciding thing. Like, yeah, next turn. Oh, snapped out of confusion. Well, Shedinja avoided it. But I am so glad I have Crunch on Delphine. If you didn't know, Shedinja only has one HP, so I just need to land this hit. And then battle's over. Heck yeah! Oh. Hoo hoo! Oh, if I had brought someone who wasn't strong, like, um... Shoot, who would not have a strong... Okay, so Cacturn has faint attack. That would have done it in. Um... Torkoal would have done it in. If I still had it. No way! Good job! The winner is May! Ow! Wait a second! You are tough after all! I like you. Let's see your Frontier Pass. The gut symbol was embossed on the Frontier Pass! Hmm. It's going to be fun the next time. I'm looking forward to it. 
A victory snatched from the Arena Tycoon and a seven trainer sweep. We congratulate you on your most splendid challenge. My dear challenger, in recognition of your indefi- uh, Indefatigable? Like, I, okay. In recognition of your strong spirit, please accept these battle points. 12 battle points. Your achievement will be recorded. Please wait while I save the game. Nah. We await your challenge on another occasion. Okay, so it is really good that I had Sviper in the last slot. If I had brought Shriek in as the last one, uh, that wouldn't have worked. Hoshi wouldn't have worked. Cacturn would have worked on two fronts because of Sandstorm. Now, Shedinja cannot be hurt by moves that are not super effective by it, but it can still be hurt by the weather. So, Sandstorm and Faint Attack would have worked, so Archibald would have worked. Bloop did not work at all. Sviper! Oh, I am so glad I still have Crunch on you. Oh. Whew! A bit of touch and go there, but dang. Well, that's the Battle Arena. So that leaves... Four more facilities? That I haven't yet? Yeah, four. And, uh, those will all be ones that I've already shown off. So I can just blitz right through without having to show or explain anything, I think. And the Battle Pike, I think I've already prepared for the most part. So I just need to go in there, uh, do this last round, and then I'll be at the, uh, the Frontier Brain of the Battle Pike. But there is... There is something I wanted to uh, show or do. Uh, there was one thing over here that I never showed. And that is... The Move Tutors! Now, uh, I did look at these Move Tutors uh, off stream, off recording. Between recordings, there we go. Uh, these are not great moves. I mean, like, sure, Mega Punch is good, but I don't have anything I would want to trade for it. And Mega Kick is powerful, but I think it's inaccurate, and it's only, like, what, 5 PP? Body Slam might be good. I've, I'm debating that. Rock Slide could be good for Swampert. Getting rid of Mud Shot. But that's debatable. I don't have any rock moves, do I? Like, if I had Rock Slide on on Bloop, then that would have taken out the Shedinja immediately, and that wouldn't have been a problem. So, um, yeah, maybe I should get rid of Mudshot, just in case I get into any more hairy situations like that. I don't have any rock moves on... I mean... Sandstorm is technically a rock move, but it doesn't do rock damage. It doesn't do super effective damage on things that are rock, uh, weak to rock. Yeah, I have no rock moves. So, uh, it's 40, 48. Yeah, rock slide is 48 BP. Thunder Wave could be good, and Sword Stance. Okay, I am I am considering Sword Stance. What? No, wait, no. Can I even teach this to the Pokemon I wanted to? No, I can't. I was thinking, hey, if Delphine can learn it, then I'll teach it to that to her because I want to get rid of Screech because it's inaccurate and honestly, I I feel like Sword Stance would be better, but can't teach it. I thought, I really thought Sviper could learn it. So yeah, most of these moves are not great for this team composition. If there's anything I want to teach, it's probably Rock Slide to Swampert. And then there's the other move tutor over here. 
Uh, defense curl? Get out of here with that. Snore? No thanks. Mud slap? Swift? Swift is a little tempting because it can, it never misses, but it's also a 60 power normal move, which... Uh, not great. Icy Wind? No. Endure? Nah. Psych Up? No. Ice Punch? I already have Ice Beam. Thunder Punch? I already have Thunderbolt. Fire Punch? I already have uh, Flamethrower. So yeah, all of all three of these are useless for me anyways. I mean, I'm curious who can learn Fire Punch, if anyone. Oh, Shriek can. Well, not like I want to teach it anyways. But another thought crossed my mind. I do believe Body Slam is the same power as Strength. And it also has a chance of Paralysis. But I think it's slightly more inaccurate. Let me take a look at that. Uh, Body Slam. Shriek. And Shriek, at least, would have same type attack bonus. 85? Oh, it's even more powerful. And it's 100 accuracy. Okay, actually, that's super tempting to get rid of strength. In fact, there's no downside other than the fact that I'll be out of strength Pokemon. Oh, uh, tempting. Super tempting. I'll come back to this. Because I don't think there are any other places where I need to use strength. Like, if there's any... I don't know. If I do teach this, I'll... Uh, I'll do this between recordings. I'll fiddle around between with moves. However, I do want to check out Rock Slide again. Rock Slide. to bloop. Choo-choo, come on it. Huh. Weird. Now, Rock Slide? Uh, 75 power. 55. 90. 95. May cause flinching. Reduces speed. Uh, I think I am. But, at the same time, it's holding the the soft sand, I believe, which ups the power of ground moves, and uh, both these are ground moves. I mean, it would still be good for Earthquake. Hmm. Like, same type attack bonus, Earthquake that's boosted by soft sand. That is pretty dang powerful. Honestly, I don't see any reason to keep Mudshot around unless I'm facing something that's super speedy that I need to slow down. But if I'm dealing with something that that I'm struggling to outspeed, I can probably get away with using Starmie if I have it available. So yeah, I, I think I'm gonna get rid of Mudshot for Rock Slide. Even though, t okay, okay, if I do the math, Mudshot is both same type attack bonus and it's also, its power is also increased by the Soft Sand. So really, that might be slightly more powerful than Rock Slide. I, I don't know exactly, but it might be either slightly above or on par. But at the same time, having more type variety is good, and I don't have any rock moves on anyone, so... Uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna get rid of Mudshot, even if it's less... Even if Rock Slide is more inaccurate, the benefits might be better. Plus, flinching is good... 
Yeah, okay, I'll get rid of Bunshot. And Blib learned Rock Slide! You see how skilled I am now. I'll take your battle points, thanks! Alright, uh... Yeah, if I do replace Strength with Body Slam, I'll do the in-between recordings because I still need to... Uh, figure out if there's any places I need to use strength still. I don't think there are, but you never know. And I also need to remove the uh, move with the move deleter, and it, that would involve going back to, uh, what was it, Lily Cove? Yeah, I'd have to go back to Lily Cove and then come back here, and yeah. Alright, so, uh, next time on Pokemon Emerald, that was a long, long tangent. Uh, next time on Pokemon Emerald, which one should I even do? I mean, in reality, I I think I can squeeze two of them into a recording. So, okay, let's decide this now. So, the tower is done. The arena is done. And the factory is done. So, that leaves the Pike, the Pyramid, the Dome, and the Palace. I maybe I should get the palace out of the way because it's so uh, that one is annoying I don't like that one <laughs> if I'm being real out of these facilities I don't like the tower I don't like the palace and everywhere else is pretty interesting and cool So yeah, I think uh, next time I'm going to do the palace just to get it out of the way, because it is just annoying. Although maybe I should just get a Pokemon that's compatible with the palace better. Alright, anyways, that's enough tangenting. I'll see you next time in Pokemon Emerald where we take on the Battle Palace, I think. And maybe, if I'm lucky, I can squeeze in the pike. Anyways, I'll see you later. Bye!